Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this quick tip, I'm going to be talking about full animation redraw and um, how we can activate it and why it might be needed. Um, okay, so in this scene, I have a plane that I've just extruded the sides up so our spheres don't fall off of it, and that's got a, um, a collider body tag on it. And I've also put a sphere in a cloner which is array, uh, arranged in a grid array, and that's also got a rigid body tag on it. So when I play, I get this kind of thing. Um, so the setup of that's not really that important. Um, it's not really what we're concentrating on. But if I go into, if I click my um, mouse wheel in, uh, we go to this view where we've got all four um, windows available to us. So we've got the top, the front, and the right, and our perspective. That's what we just come from. Um, and if I press play now, you can see that only the perspective uh, viewport is updating. And if I click on top, we'll see that that one gets updated. And front and the uh, right. But what if we wanted to have all windows animating and actually refreshing? So they're actually redrawing every frame. Um, it's actually quite simple. If we go into Edit, Preferences, and then go to our view. We have this uh, checkbox here called full animation redraw. And if we check that on and now play, you can see that it's been redrawn in each window at the same time. Now you really might have a use for this if you're trying to, um, I don't know, in a scene like this, you might be checking the collisions or whatever, and it'll be kind of annoying if you've got to click through. So. You know, if your computer can handle it, um, which it, you know, probably should be able to, you can get it to redraw in every frame. Uh, the reason it's not on by default is because um, um, it just makes uh, the the scene more optimized, uh, allows Cinema 4D to run quicker. So um, you may have a use for that, you may not, but um, that's how you get it to redraw in each window. As always, guys, uh, check out the website digitalmeet.uk. There you can vote for the next tutorial. Um, also check out uh, my social media as well. There'll be links in the description and there'll be a link for my Patreon at the end of the video. Okay, cheers. Bye.